All right, we're here with J.J. McCarthy, national championship winner, Rick, out of Michigan, came off a great season. And this draft class is full of fantastic athletes, guys with arm strength at quarterback. And J.J. has done more with less. And by that, I mean some of these quarterbacks you've seen in this draft class were asked to throw 30 times a game. We had to see J.J. in fits and spurts. And I'll start with this, and I, I mentioned this to you before. I went back and watched all your third down throws, 6 to 10 yards. You were number one in the nation to completion percentage, five touchdowns, no interceptions. I don't think you were sacked, and you were making every throw. Is there something you feel like you need to work on passing-wise, maybe second-level throws, maybe throws with anticipation that teams have talked to you about that they want to see you do better? Because those throws were, all of them were just about on point. Uh, definitely. Well, first off, you know, the third down, you know, success isn't because of me. It's because <laughs> of, you know, the game plan going into the week, the offensive line, like you said, holding up and, you know, the receivers making the catches. But I would say, you know, the biggest thing is just, like you said, throwing with more anticipation and having some touch on some throws. You know, I'm a big guy that does things 100 percent, 100 percent of the time, but you got to have to have to have different clubs in your bag when you're playing quarterback. Yeah, but you still are the one throwing the ball on third down, right? So yes, you got to take some credit. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will a little bit, a little bit, but not all. The big knock on you, which I don't understand, is, okay, well, is he a game manager or he can actually lead a team or if you have to air the ball out. Now, you guys are extremely talented football teams while you won a national championship. Yes, and I give credit to Coach Harbaugh. You're going to number one up goals to win games yes, sir. but I saw you in the TCU game when you got an opportunity to air it out when you got in the shootout down there and you lost yeah. in that semifinal game and I thought I saw every throw I needed to see that game are you looking for more opportunities like that or what's the most important thing to you Honestly, I, I love those opportunities. I thrive in them. You know, we practice them a lot in practice and with two-minute drill and, right. you know, going against the one defense in red zone lockout and stuff like that. But, you know, those are the moments I live for. You know, being in that TCU game, it was tremendous, and it was probably my best game outside of two throws. And, yeah, I would say, you know, that's moments that, you know, I prepare for my entire life. I got to ask them one more question Go for, for you. Okay, then I turned on the Bowling Green game this year. The Bowling Green Falcons, a math <laughs> yeah. school, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting there and looking at, is this the same guy making the wrong decisions? Yeah. And I had a funny saying. I said, I can't believe what I'm watching. This is unfalcon believable. <laughs> That's amazing. That's you said amazing. that pretty good. I've that. heard that <laughs> joke. really good. I've heard that joke ten times. <laughs> but it was pretty funny the first time you heard 100%, it. 100%, yeah. Yeah. Can you just talk a little bit about <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, I'll talk about that game. He didn't want to stop on your um, slide, Rick. He was waiting for it to be done. I would say, you know, that was a great, you know, learning lesson for me about being process oriented. You know, I went into that game saying, you know, obviously the first two weeks, very successful, very efficient. You know, I'm going to have more touchdowns than incompletions this game. And then, you know, when one play doesn't go your way, then you kind of get in your head and your expectations don't get met. And then you kind of snowball from there. And, you know, I feel like just you know, adopting the one play at a time mentality after that game has helped me, you know, ultimately lead to a national championship. And I'm grateful for that game. I'm glad you actually talked about that because uh, a big thing, especially during the, the playoffs, was that you, your pregame routine where you would sit down and you would meditate. And uh, I'm going to have you blind. You know how to blind rank? You know how to do the blind rank game? I did it yesterday. Yeah. All right. So if they did you this one, we'll see. We'll, we'll have to do something else. Blind. We're going to have you blind rank yoga poses. One through five or one through three? Yeah, we'll do five, okay? okay. So I, Yoga I'll, poses, I would say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name them. You have to rank them one, two, three, And this five. is a part of the routine or part of? Ones that you would maybe you get the most out of, the ones okay. that you enjoy. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I got you. So you just give me the number once I give you the, the, the pose. Cobra. Mm. Three. Oh, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you play the, the game. The warrior pose. Four. I, don't, I didn't know this one. Corpse pose? <laughs> there, I was about to say, I don't know that one either, but so. we'll throw that at five. Yeah, well, well done. All right, uh, Child's Pose? Uh, I, I kind of like that one, uh, too. I think you did this one right, Downward Dog. One, for sure. Okay, That's there we great. go. All right, Get thank you for the Corpse activated. Pose reenactment. Yeah, right, that, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that, yeah. I have one more question. As a quarterback and uh, the leader of the football team, and all the adversity you guys had to go through there with Coach Harbaugh not being on the field, yet your team continued to win. Sir. Can you talk about your role as a quarterback and a leader and how you kept everybody together, even though you went through all that adversity this year? 
I would say my role was just being the ultimate teammate at the end of the day and, you know, loving my guys because, you know, when they see that from one of their leaders like myself, Mikey, Blake, you know, everyone just comes together and, you know, that whole, you know, hard work and teamwork leads to success and how it's cliche, that was a real thing. And, you know, we really bought into each other, bought into the process and honestly just try to focus on each and every day and the task at hand. And, you know, that kept things really simple for us and allowed us to stay in the present moment and do our best on Saturdays. Okay, I know Coach Harbaugh's here since he left Michigan, took the uh, LA Chargers job. Yes, sir. Everybody is going to talk to him about you. Mm -hmm. What is he going to say in one word when people ask who you are? Hmm. It's a great question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say gritty. 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 Uh, he used five words when he was asked about J.J. earlier. He called him the best quarterback in Michigan history. Those are, those are good words as well. Uh, is that five? I think so. I was trying yeah. to count quickly. Good, I was like, yeah. I'm terrible at math. That was good. Uh, thanks for, for double-checking. Yes, me, my fact-checker on that. Uh, who are the three best Michigan quarterbacks in your mind? If you want to add J.J. to the list, you can certainly do that. Uh, I won't add myself to the list. You know, so many great guys. But I would say, you know, Chad Henney's up there. Um, Brian Greasy's up there winning the national title. And then you got you to gotta put the GOAT up there, Tom Brady. I thought maybe you forgot about Tom and you're going to just name someone Absolutely else. Absolutely not. Uh, Absolutely he, not. Save the best he, for uh, last. He saved the drama for last. Uh, all right. Top three wide receivers you want to throw to in the NFL? Say Justin Jefferson. Uh, you drafted him. <laughs> yeah. Amazing pick. Amazing <laughs> pick. Uh, Devontae Adams. <laughs> Um, you know, there's so many great guys, but, you know, I said this before, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, you know, yeah. seeing him play my freshman year. Are you allowed to snow. say that as a Michigan guy? Well, at I Ohio mean, State, they say that team up north. Do you say something about, do you say that team down south, or do you even recognize Ohio State? No, being 3-0 and against <laughs> just, you know, having that, you know, on the, on the chest, I don't, I don't feel that anymore. Easier. It's a little bit more respect <laughs> right. and hatred, you know what I mean? But, you know, just seeing how he played in the snow and, you know, his intangibles, obviously his skill, that will be someone for sure. That's a good point. When you're 3-0, you, yeah. you, you, you look for the good guys you want to be on your football team. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That is J.J. McCarthy, Michigan quarterback. Fantastic interview. Great talking to you. Good luck this week and good luck next year in the NFL. Thank you so much.